right, so this is Wim. I love Wim. It really is very nice. It's been kind of glitchy, but it did have an update, so now it's all fixed. Um, so just be aware of that when, uh, whenever there's a new patch, Wim does tend to have a tendency to kind of freak out. But be patient. They come out with updates pretty fast. Anyway, so there's your Wim. I just keep it, I just pull them down into this uh, spot right here. Remember when we were setting up our bars, I said this is kind of my catch-all spot. Um, I have my DVM scrolling through here. I have recount when it pops right here. And I also throw Wim down in here because the, the uh, default size for the buttons fits pretty well. Uh, buttons, the window. Uh, windows will also tab when more people whisper you. Uh, let's find a random person. Okay, so anyway, um, they'll just show up as tabs and you can switch back and forth if someone whispers you, um, they, uh, the tab will flash, so that's pretty nice. I also have it set up so that whispers do still show up in my box because the one thing that you want to do when you're setting up WIM is um, to set it so that it will go away when you are in combat because there's nothing more annoying than WIM popping up screen okay just slash whim to bring up that so I have an I have it enabled display the minimap icon right there so that I can um, as you can see I can hide I essentially minimize windows into this right here other whispers will show up. You can also set, um, you can use WIM actually to completely replace your chat frames. Um, so for those of you who want to do that, that is possible. Um, press tab to advance to the next tell target. I have that enabled. Um, and then you don't really need to display tutorials. Uh, the window setting, uh, I just kind of keep everything at, at default. You can scale it down, fix it to your settings. So, um, display, again, I use the defaults um, with the skin. The fonts, um, I like Arial Narrow, so I kept it on Arial, Arial Narrow for that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, message formatting, here you go. This is what this looks like. You can change. I have it set to work with Pratt so that my settings will work between the two, um, which, again, I, I explained earlier. That's why I use Pratt instead of other chat mods. Um, here we go. There, uh, I do have my time stamps displayed. You can get rid of that. You can display emoticons or not. You can display URLs as links or not. The nice thing about it is that um, it doesn't work with this preview, but let's say we go... Oh, also, other people who are using WIM, you can see when they're typing. See, I... I um, can mouse over and that's pretty cool. So http colon backslash backslash will go www.iheal.5gigs.net and then I can click on that and there you go. Voila! I was able to control C to copy and I can put that right into a browser. So that's pretty uh, that's pretty helpful. Uh, you can indent long messages. It's more of just kind of a formatting thing. Um, I don't really care, so, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, I do have Pratt set to colorize names, and it does work. Uh, pink for paladins, white for priests. It's pretty nice. Um, tab management, I do have it. You don't have to have everything grouped. You can have uh, friends in their own group, guild members in their own group. Uh, you can automatically group chat windows. I only use it for whispers, so I just keep the whispers all together. Um, you're going to want to play with these. Uh, as you can see here, there's also ways you can sort the tabs. But you're going to want to play with these if you're going to use Pratt for more than just your whispers. Um, expose. This is the important thing. Auto hide and restore windows during combat. Um, delay if you're typing a message and only when I'm in an instance. Because, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not questing on L, so uh, it's only when I'm in an instance, and that counts for raids too, that I need to freak out about it. So, 
Um, do click on this because otherwise you could be running through a zone and if you pull a mob all of your windows disappear and it's a pain in the butt so just keep it for your instances. Um, play with it, use what you want to. Um, so that's when. Let's see, what else do I have to cover? Recount. Um, really the only thing that I needed to do was just show you that I put recount down in here. You know. So that's where recount goes. Um, Omen will go right here. Oh. Slash Omen show. Do I not? I don't think I have it enabled for this. Like I told you guys earlier, I don't really use Omen when I heal. And this character only heals. See? So, um, basically just play with Omen like I showed you guys earlier, and it sits on top of here, or you can put it right here because you only need it when it's up for combat, you can set it so that your one disappears. So, that's it for this section. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me, visit the website, there's going to be some information. I do plan on coming up with a video to discuss priest changes. Um, and part four is also going to talk to you guys about how I set up my heal bot, uh, the button timers, uh, ice hut, which is all this stuff right here. So that will be the next video. If uh, you guys have any specific questions, go ahead and let me know. And I will see you guys all later. Ciao. I see you dead.